2015. It's the hardest year I ever had in my life. Braden was born in 1995 and Savannah in 1997. I always said I wanted to be cloned, and that was probably the closest that I could have been. Braden was just very mild and even-tempered. At 10.35 p.m. on February the 3rd, 2015, I sat straight up in my bed, and I knew he was dead. But what had happened was his roommate ended up killing him. I never got the answers to why he did that. The year he died in 2015, I was diagnosed with stage four colon rectal cancer and told I couldn't live. I mean, three doctors wouldn't even help me. So I went through 37 rounds of chemo and radiation. That cancer and losing Braden was just like major, major depression on me and I uh, had a pallet fall on me and it tore my rotator cuff and hurt my neck and hurt my other shoulder and seeing the surgeon he also found out at that time about the cancer he found out I was diagnosed with PTSD uh, that I had depression I had severe anxiety so, uh, severe panic attacks. I was taking 12 pain pills a day. He said, Barry, I don't know if you know it, but you now qualify for medical cannabis. I was like, I'll, I'll do anything. I'll do anything. And this is no joke. Within an hour, I felt that chronic pain going away. And I just couldn't believe it. I could feel the calmness come over me from the medication. And that's what it is, this medication. I feel better than I've felt since I was 45 years old. I've been able to get back on the Bowflex with shoulders that just weren't able to do it. Back into the yard planting trees this past weekend, well, I, I, I couldn't have done that a year ago. I'm easier to get along with, <laughs> you know? I guess I have more patience. I don't have bad side effects from the medical cannabis. To be as sick and where I was at and to be here now is a miracle. It's a miracle. Mood-wise, composure-wise, pain-wise, literally, I believe it saved my life. I didn't know if I was gonna be able to move through the emotional part. And since I've been on the medical cannabis, I've been able to deal with that a whole lot more. And knowing that it's, it's in God's hands, he's in a better place. I'm starting to get to the point to where I look for the bright spots and the bright times that I got to share with Brayden.